got my first tattoo when I was 14. So right here in my arm. It's the Lord's Prayer, John 3.16. I was excited at the fact that I was about to get a tattoo without parent consent. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? period from like when I was 14 to 17 that I was really like tattoo crazy in my life and I would like literally probably go like twice a week. It was one summer I probably got a whole like stomach done, neck, like I just went OD with it because I just was so addicted to it. I was younger like like they didn't I feel like they really didn't hurt as much but like the older I get I'm just like uh I got that when I was like 16. That one hurt like a bitch too. It really, it really was the pain after that hurt. Like, I don't know how to describe the pain, but after it definitely hurt. I really don't have any favorite tattoos. It's crazy. Like when I look at them, it's like kind of a timeline of my life. Uh, the Vietnam tattoo. I really started like tapping into like my Asian background and stuff. My mom was born there during the Vietnam War. And then she later moved here, had me. This is Jack from uh, Nightmare Before Christmas. I got this when I was like 16. One of my favorite movies was when I was growing up. I've seen it so many years upside down that I've never seen it how it looks. You know, regular, because I'm always used to looking at it like this, which is crazy. I got these when I was 15. It was like my label when I was young. It was like my first squad that I had, which standed for uh, getting every dollar, getting educated daily. I always wanted a face tap, but I didn't want to like do nothing I felt like was gonna alter my look too much. And I don't like, I don't even like notice that they're there anymore, which is crazy. I got like a lot of ghetto tattoos and I have like good work, you know what I'm saying? It's a mixture of everything. So I think it just depends on what I'm on at the moment. You know what I'm saying? Like everything I'm doing right now is Asian inspired. I feel like the last year I've been working on a lot of Asian inspired kind of stuff. That's why I got like the dragon. And then like a few years ago, I was really into like the Egyptian culture, studying that stuff. Some Sphinx here, the eye of Horus here on my stomach, so. You know, it just depends on what I'm really into at the moment, too. I kind of let the artists do what they, they do first. I'll have a vision in my head. I'll see what the artist comes up with, and then we can, like, collab and alter from there. Because, like, I feel like when you go to a tattoo artist, you're going to that person for their kind of work. You always kind of want to, like, give them their room to, like, be the artist first, and then you give your opinion. Yeah, I think any advice that I can give to somebody that wants to get a tattoo, it's always good to get something that you know will be there forever. People get family names, their kid names, whatever relates to you and whatever really speaks to you, you know, it's, it's kind of going in the tattoo shop like, hey, let me get this. Oh, this is cool. Like, it's cool sometimes to do stuff like that, but you got to also know that it's going to be there forever. Mm -hmm.